The name of this project is called Image Boards, so it's a design for a mounting system for tracks on a snowboard, so you can mount a ruggedized iPad or iPhone on your snowboard. You can take action video going down the mountain and then show your friends as, on the way back up on the lift. Uh, the challenges involved is how do you keep a tablet mounted to a snowboard when you're doing jumps, you know, getting the air and, and just carving down the mountain. This is the, the base track system and as you can see it's basically four quadrants. These all mount into that track system and there's a T-nut that goes in underneath so this is adjustable in and out. The foam actually ends up going around that and supporting the bottom of the tablet and once you have all of the stops mounted on here like I said, you can adjust them, and there's one stop that has a release catch on it, so you can release that side and take your pad out without having to take the whole thing apart. So this project has been an incredible experience for me. The amount of machining that goes into some of these intricate parts uh, is quite complex and kind of difficult to wrap your head around. This is definitely where I call home. I, I really enjoy working on machines, running machines, making physical products. The end goal is to make a working product that will succeed, and it definitely creates skills that I can transfer over to other places. The students have a huge role. The students, as you can see, are doing a lot of the machining operations. They've done a lot of the design work. They're doing a lot of the testing work, and are integral throughout the whole process. It never ceases to amaze me, the, just the brilliant ideas that the students come up with, because they have a different view on things. This is a perfect example of uh, helping main company commercialize. So a lot of main companies have some great ideas, but they don't know the best path to take an idea, a design, take it through the design process, take it through the prototyping process, and then once you are through that prototyping process, you know what you really want to build. They can come with that cocktail napkin sketch, you know, that where they've got a design, they've got an idea, they have the concept, but they have no way to bring it to fruition. They just don't have the resources. They're not an engineer. They don't have tooling or machine, they don't even know, you know, may not know where to go to find those people or those resources to do it. And here we really encompass every bit of the resources that you need, especially for a product like this, to bring it to market.